guys, it's Ivana here from Express Prints, and I would like to welcome you to my new tutorial. Now, today's tutorial is going to be um, creating and selling Christmas and New Year's invitations, editable in Canva. Um, but you know, the process that I'm going to teach you, it can be used on any kind of um, stationery, whether it's a Christmas card, cards, birthday cards, a wedding invitation. So it's really going to be quite a mammoth tutorial. So I've decided to actually spread it into three parts. So the first part, we will be nosing around um, Etsy and seeing what other people are doing and what kind of invitations they're selling. And I will also show you how I created these with me journey. I mean, look how gorgeous these are. Um, in the second part, we will be looking at editing them in Canva, very, very simple editing options. And in the part three, I will show you exactly how to package them, how to market them on Etsy. So it's going to be fun, fun, fun. I hope you're excited and let's just get started. Guys, welcome back to part one of our tutorial where we're going to be doing some basic preparations and seeing, you know, like what other people are doing. But also, you know, if you are working with um, AI, sort of like a graphic design such as Mid Journey, we do need to know um, what kind of aspect ratio we need to create truly breathtaking and perfectly fitting invitations. Um, so guys, you know, I love Canva uh, because it's very, very simple to use, but of course you can use any editor that you're comfortable with. I have a pro account because obviously, you know, I am doing this um, because I am selling my graphics and so they need editing. But, um, you know, there's so many features that are available on the freemium plan. So you just try it and see how you feel. Now, when you are creating um, invitations that you want to sell, then you do need the pro plan because we need to actually take away the text that Midjourney gives us and of course replace it with our own. Um, so first things first, I want to sort of like look at, um, you know, sort of like what kind of sites we need for invitations. So I'm just going to go over to templates and I'm going to put in here invitations. So as you can see, I've already searched. So let's let's click on that. And I'm going to be creating these type of um, invitations. I mean, as you can see, there's so many different ones. So let's see what kind of uh, size we need. Okay, so size is for invitations. And guys, the reason I love this in Canva is because their sizing is already prepared for printing. So you can actually print your invitations through Canva. And uh, that's what's uh, so special about this tutorial is that I'll show you three ways how you can sell these uh, invitations. And one of them is actually printing them through Canva. So we need um, invitation five to seven inches. Now I've quickly consulted <laughs> ChatGPT and it told me that basically we need um, invitation of the size five to seven. Yeah, so that will be our aspect ratio for all of our um, invitations, because I do want to create that kind of um, that kind of invitation. So I'm just going to open it here um, so that I can show you what I mean. And, you know, we've got some templates here, but we're going to be creating even better ones, <laughs> hopefully. So guys, always before you go to create any stationery that you didn't want to sell on Etsy and you want to edit them in Canva, always check with Canva first what kind of uh, aspect ratio we need. Okay. Next, let's sort of a little bit nosy around on Etsy to see what's available. I have showed you my invitations. I mean, look how gorgeous these are. Um, some of them have got, you know, like the same, I've, I was using the same prompt for all of them, but of course you can see that some of these designs have been uh, created differently. So all I can say about this is that I have created it using my very function, which I really love, but of course I, I can't I can't tell you what the original uh, image was because obviously I'm selling them, so I don't want uh, you know. <laughs> but I will show you really really wonderful prompts that create these beautiful. All of these have been created using one simple prompt. Okay, so um, if I now go to Etsy, let's see what sort of what sort of uh, invitation sell. And also, how much are they? So let's just do Christmas invitation. And I also want to do editable in Canva template. So template would be perfect because we want to um, 
we want to sort of like look at Canva because I'm going to be using my invitations with Canva as well. And we've got some here, as we can see, you know, the prices are quite good. They're not cheap. So we can actually, you know, get proper, um, but we don't have to cheap out on these because obviously, you know, they, they are popular and, you know, like obviously with the rise of AI, things that are so cheap on Etsy that it's just, it's just scary. It's literally no profit at all. Uh, so four people bought these in the last 24 hours. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, very simple one. Again, if we go to see my ones, you know, they are a little bit busy <laughs> and a little bit more more colorful. I mean, obviously, you know, everybody likes something different. Um, so this is these are some ideas on how we can present it. Yeah. And let's see what sort of like expectations are here. So uh, when you buy this file, you sort of get the uh, one PDF, which is exactly what I do. And in that one PDF, you will have a Canva link, but I will show you everything in the second part of this tutorial in part two. Um, and yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, so basically simply explaining what I do with my, um, with my sort of like listings. If you have a look here, I actually have a tutorial ready. Yeah. So they can actually go to YouTube and watch step-by-step -step tutorial on how to, um, how to edit this wonderful invitation. Oh goodness, it's a little bit slow today. Yeah, so this is how I present it, but I will show you exactly how I did that in part three. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. So uh, very, very simple, you know, five to seven, size cannot be changed. Um, and it's all about Canva, but we will go through everything, guys. Don't worry if you don't know how to do this. So yeah, very, very simple. Get Customers get a link. And, uh, you know, they will edit it that way. And look at how gorgeous they are. Oh, my God. So we, we, we can actually, you know, use this as a motivation. Of course, this is sort of using beautiful clip art. Um, obviously, you know, like, guys, look at, you know, the ones that sell the most, you know, like what kind of um, information. Oh, this is my one because I'm running ads. So I'm not going to click on that. But this is one of my pasta ones that we can see here. Um, but I need to really work on more pasta ones because I can see that it's getting clicks. So this is very beautiful um, pasta. So that's that's an idea as well. Uh, but yeah, literally limitless, limitless ideas. Oh my God, how, how cute is this? Yeah, you can see that actually most of these, I would think, were actually created in uh, Canva itself, you know. Um, so we have, I, I think we have an advantage that we can do this in, in mid-journey because we get loads of wonderful designs uh, but these are also very beautiful guys you know like everybody likes something different i love them oh this is my one as well <laughs> guys it's because i'm running ads that is why uh yeah well let's just see this one this one is a little bit cheaper 186 so editable canva invitation fully editable uh again some watercolor splashes there very very beautiful um Okay, very, very beautiful. Let's see if there's anything else that, that that's done differently. So five, seven inches. Yeah, so that's that's perfect. We know the aspect ratio. It's uh, uh, seven to five or five to seven? Five to seven, yeah. Um, yeah, guys, so do your nosy around, you know, see what you personally feel, you know, what you personally like and, um, you know, see how people are pricing their products. Um, and also, you know, in the other tutorials, we will make sure that uh, customers get proper link to everything and I will explain everything as well. Guys, so let's go to next part. Guys, and now for the exciting part, we are going to be creating our uh, invitations in Mid Journey. Of course, guys, the invitations that we will create in Mid Journey are very raw. <laughs> the text doesn't make any sense. Let's just sort of like, yeah, so. It doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? I love this because we are going to be changing the text anyway, and it needs to be an editable invitation because, of course, everybody will have different address, different details. But what I do love about this is that it sort of like gives us an idea of um, sort of where we can put the text, what kind of text we should we should use, and things like that. Okay, guys. So let's get started. I'm just going to show you. Um, you know, again, I have been using very, very simple prompts. So these 
Um, these were done um, using Vary feature. Now, if you are interested in learning how to use Vary feature and combine different uh, images, then um, you know, please check out my Patreon community. Let me just quickly show you. Uh, so, in my Patreon community, I do have um, in-depth tutorials in my collections. Sorry, everything is so slow today. So. These are create and sell tutorials and advanced prompting courses where you will find all sorts of <laughs> tricks and tips on how I create these amazing images. Um, okay, but very, 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 okay. So this was, this was actually done using Vary function. And then I, I added this very, very simple prompt, beautiful Christmas invitation template product concept and no mockup and uh, 5.7, yeah, the aspect ratio. So... Yeah, these are the same. These have been done the same way. I love these effects here. They're just gorgeous. Um, again, guys, you know, I've kept the same prompt everywhere. So these were sort of done um, not, not with the Vary function, but by itself. So um, <clears throat> obviously, once you get an image that you like, you can then re-roll in Me Journey. And this, this is how you get sort of like similar looking template now this was also done using vary function um i do like to play around with vary function but again the prompt was the same yeah as you can see plenty of space for text this was also done in vary function yeah and i'll show you um in the in the next part you know how i edited these into very very beautiful invitations guys so you know you can get some amazing amazing invitations as i showed you and i will show you again um guys i kept the prompt same for everything the only thing i did was combine these images with another image yeah using vary function and look how gorgeous they are yeah okay and let's just sort of see so yes, you can actually play with words like minimalist, white background, product concept. I would keep it as simple as possible. I found that when I was sort of like adding more words to it, it would um, not do proper concept like this, but it would it would sort of like showcase it as an invitation on a table, which I didn't want. So, um, but it's actually quite good with these invitations. With birthday invitations, it's a little bit trickier. Let's see what we used here. So this is obviously, again, mixed with another image using Vary function, but the uh, the prompt is the same. And let's see what actually that prompt on its own gives us. Yeah, so these are all mixed. But this is, for example, prompt on its own. So beautiful New Year party invitation template and product concept. This is not mixed with anything, guys. Um, so you can use that. You know, the invitation is very, very beautiful. And I will show you how to match the text in the next part of this tutorial. And look at these, right? Beautiful Christmas. Then we have this one. So these guys, these were just done with this sim very simple prompt, yeah? And again, guys, yes, text doesn't make sense, but it's perfect because all I need is sort of like an idea of what kind of text I can put in and, you know, uh, what colors. That's all I need to know. Then I did some pasta ones, which are so gorgeous, beautiful Christmas imitation template, pasta colors, product concepts. Um, then I did some retro ones. Look at those, right? Beautiful retro Christmas party invitation template, just gorgeous. Beautiful monochrome. So you can literally play around with different styles. Yeah. Oh my goodness, just lovely. I think I've done one retro on my website. Again, monochrome monochrome just gorgeous let's see what else we can we can have a look at so this is like a new year's invitations i mean i'm look at this and nearly nearly it actually did the year properly a beautiful new year party invitation let's see what i did i think i did one new year's party invitation you can see it here yeah it's quite lovely what do you guys think i, I really love it if you look at it properly so I love it. Yeah. And then where were we? Yeah. So these are again, Christmas ones, New Year's ones. Yeah. I, you know what? I haven't even got around to it. I was just, it's actually guys, the tricky part is editing them. And I'll be very honest. You really will need to spend some time on it. 
Again, guys, this was just the prompt itself. It wasn't mixed with anything. These were mixed using Barry function. So that's how I, I got these beautiful images. Uh, but again, you know, in my Patreon site, you get a, you know, like in-depth tutorial on how to use the Vary function if you're interested. Okay, guys, so literally there is no end to what you can create. Um, you know, obviously you get these raw, beautiful graphics ready to go. And it's just never ending here. I was mixing with some um, geometric Vary functions. And let's see what else. Okay, so these were wedding invitations. Okay, guys, so this is it for this part. And I'll see you in the next part. Guys, and welcome to the last part of our part one tutorial in how to create and sell beautiful invitations, whether it's Christmas and New Year. So I just quickly want to show you um, how to then get our raw graphics ready for Canva uh, and for editing. So again, guys, if you don't have an account with Canva, it's very simple to register canva.com. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I do find them really, really simple to work with. And we're going to go for five to seven because that's the perfect uh, size for our invitations. And I've got them here already uploaded. So you just upload files and, you know, let's take a look at how beautiful they are, right? You know, so, oh my goodness, look at that. It doesn't matter one bit, guys, that, um, you know, the text doesn't make sense because we're going to be editing it. Guys, I really, really want to thank you. Uh, for watching this tutorial now guys the part two and part three are going to be available on my patreon website and um, uh, you if you if you go to membership site you know the advanced courses and in-depth courses are available in these highlighted tires um, so you get very very in-depth courses on how I create stuff how I how I sort of like prepare, prepare graphics for Etsy and my own website. So guys, if you want to go all the way and really learn how I got to these <laughs> and these, I mean, look at them, then please consider joining me on a Patreon and, um, you know, uh, yeah, work with me, work with me on more um, graphics, more invitations, more editing options. And I would really love to see you there. Guys, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.